Hey, what's up guys? Jakey here. Today we're going to be going over how to set up an auto exec for Counter-Strike. So basically what an auto exec does is you can put a bunch of commands into there. So you can make uh, jump throw binds. You can also just put general settings in there so that every time you load up your game, you know that you have all of your settings loaded properly. And so an auto exec is pretty much essential for any player. And this is basically how to set one up. So first things first, what we want to do is open up our Steam library. Next, we're going to go and find Counter-Strike. We're going to right click on it and then go to Properties. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Installed Files. And from here, we're going to click on the Browse button. This will open up our Counter-Strike directory where the game is installed. Next, what we want to do once we're here is double click on the game folder and then double click on the CSGO folder. Next, we're going to double click on the CFG folder. And then from here, you want to make sure that you turn on file name extensions on Windows. You can do that by clicking on this little view button here, going down to show, and then make sure that file name extensions is checked. Once you have on file name extensions, as you can see, you'll be able to see all of the file name extensions here. So this is .cfg. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to right click in this folder. We're going to go down to new, and then we're going to select text document. And we're going to call this auto exec, just like that. Press enter, and as you can see, this will create an autoexec.txt. We want to make sure that we change this file extension here from .txt to .cfg, just like this. And we want to press yes on this dialog. And as you can see, this will change it to autoexec.cfg. And that's pretty much it. Now you've created an autoexec. Now, in order to use the autoexec, all you need to do is just double click on it, and it will open a notepad file. If it doesn't, then it will just bring up a dialog that asks you to choose what program you want to open it with or you can right click go to properties and then under opens with you can change this to notepad and make sure you set it to notepad and then all cfg files will then open with notepad so after you have your auto exec open now you can start entering commands into here so for example a good one that i use is clear and i put this at the top of my auto exec and basically what this does is every time you execute your auto exec uh, this will clear your console so that everything is clean and you can see if any commands didn't work properly. It also just gives you like a fresh state uh, slate in your console to work with. You can also put stuff like your sensitivity. So for example, uh, if I wanted to put my sensitivity, I would put sensitivity and then 0.9 just like that inside of these quotation marks. You don't have to put the quotation marks, but I like to put them because sometimes when you're doing stuff like aliases or binds, you do need the quotation marks to make sure that the binds work properly. Uh, you can also do stuff like FPS max if you want to limit your FPS. Another good command is FPS max. I limit mine to 300, so I would just put that command in like that. So anything else that you want to put in here, you can. For example, if you wanted to, let's say I use my V key as my push to talk, I could do bind V plus voice record, which is the command for push to talk. So you can do a bunch of stuff like this as well. And if you're unsure what sort of commands you can put in the auto exec, you can Google it. Uh, there's a ton of resources out there and a ton of websites that basically list all of the commands that you can put inside of an auto exec. And if you want to create binds as well, there's a complete website dedicated to uh, showing you what the bind names are called for every command or for every key on your keyboard. Uh, for example, like a lot of people use mouse wheel to jump. So M wheel down just like this and then plus jump will bind your mouse wheel down to jump. So you can do a lot with this. Basically anything that you can enter in game into the console, you can put inside of an auto exec. Another good one here that I use a lot is this C4 drop bind. So right here, this alias will let you drop your C4 with any key. I have mine set to H. So if I'm hold, if I have the C4 in my inventory, I can press H even if I have my AK out and it will just scroll right to my C4 and drop it on the ground. So a lot of stuff like this you can do. Also, of course, jump throw bind, very important as well. So this is my jump throw bind here. I'll leave both of these in the description for you to copy and paste, but pretty much anything that you can imagine you can put inside of your auto exec uh, to make life simple. So after you have everything that you want inside of your auto exec, you just want to save it. You can control S or file save, and then you can close out of this. And we want to make sure that this auto exec uh, activates every time that we launch our game. And so in order to do that, what we're going to do is go back into Steam, right click on Counter-Strike, go to Properties, and then scroll down to Launch Options here. And all we're going to do is we're going to do plus, uh, inside of Launch Options, we do plus exec, autoexec.cfg, just like this. 
Again, I will leave this in the description for you to copy and paste if you need it. But you want to just put this inside of your launch options and then you're pretty much good to go. Every time you launch Counter-Strike from now on, it will automatically execute your auto exec for you as you launch the game. But if you want to make sure that your auto exec is running properly inside when you have your game loaded, you can just open up your console and type exec auto exec just like that and it will execute your auto exec and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much how you set up an auto exec in Counter-Strike and I hope this video helps you guys out. If it does, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.